paid a quid for these undies. Uh, and I've got fifty p stuck up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to another video from Sixteen AA. And tonight we're going to be in yeah, Armor Three works. video, and we're going to be doing some training tonight. Part of the FSG fire support group, and we've got some new toys and some new kit. So tonight we're going to be getting out on the FSG range, which is our own dedicated area on this island, for us to test out a few things, try the new kit, and basically do a little bit of training and a little bit of cohesion between the group. Um, new members have come from other sections, so we need to uh, start working together before we go back out on our next op. And as you can see from the video, we've got some new kit in here. New uniforms, new helmets, and specifically, these new hard mounts. Now, you won't find these in any other GU or anywhere outside of our group. A lot of the stuff that we use is custom in-house stuff, and a lot of the guys here are actually the Ace developers. So we get lots of little toys and things that nobody else gets, so... Yes, if you want to uh, try some of this new stuff, then you're going to have to sign up for the 16AA. You're going to have to do your phase 1 training. And if you get accepted, you could use the toys that we get to use. So you can see this is a nice little piece of kit. It's a hard mount that we can put uh, jimpies on, 50 cals, and javelins. And it's also deployable anytime or anywhere we want on top of buildings, inside buildings, in the field. And it's got three different height positions so that we can change it. And we also have, as you can see here, with Levitt's building inside itself, a nice little bunker. A uh, sandbags, and we can pick these up, we can move them around, we can place them where we want. You can also see there's a grenade launcher mounted down there on top of those. Extremely handy, and um, yeah, each gunner, if I'm carrying the jimpy for example, I can put the tripod down and just place it wherever we want. Now part of the training is it's not suitable for everywhere obviously because it does take time to actually set them up so in the next part of the video we're going to be testing this on patrol with a simulated attack seeing how long it takes and just getting used to uh, deploying them, undeploying them and their basic use and things like that and then after that we're actually going to do some simulated attacks in the jackals and I shall come out a little bit further in if you've got any questions about anything that we're doing here um, Please do let me know it in the comments box below. As I said, uh, this is training, so there are a lot of things we can improve on, but it's a matter of just polishing them out. I'm sorry, it's quite cool, isn't it? Now I'm just looking at the way that you actually slightly crouch down, it looks good. Now, as much as I love being in the infantry, I do love being in the FSG. We get to play with the big guns, as you can see here. Extremely well modelled, kicks some ass, and if you're on the other end of this, well, you, you're probably dead before you even see it coming. So, yeah, absolutely awesome piece of kit. Uh, come left of that, there's another one. I think they're at 300. 300 on the nose. Fire support group's role is basically to support the infantry. We smash things, basically. We obliterate them. We put down a lot of fire, a lot of lead. We also take out armor. And we usually work in a small group. There's actually, I think there's eight of us at the minute, and we're putting this up to about 12. Um, and we are uh, our own unit, separated from the rest of the infantry in the platoon. Also under a chain of command, of course. Uh, so we're more of a supporting role, and that's what the FSG do. We smash fucking heads. Uh, splashes not happened yet. Um, there we go, splash. Oh, that was way off. Wait, which one are you talking about? Right away, you were shooting. In this next clip, we're actually doing a simulated attack while we're actually in the jackals while out on patrol. And this is a learning exercise. We haven't done this with this group of lads before, so we're trying a few different tactics here, which I'm not going to explain. If you want to know why we're doing certain things, you'll have to join the FSG. Or 16AA, should I say. And uh, yeah, after this clip, we're actually going to be going out on foot, which is when we get the chance to actually try out the uh, hard mounts and try a few little things with uh, pairing the guns up, which means one jumpy fires, then the other one fires, and so on and so off, while we're suppressing. But in the meantime, this is us in the Jackals trying it out, and as I said, on the next few clips, we'll be going out on foot. Reloading! Clear back last.
Reloading. Right. Once the vehicles have to move, uh, pop smoke from the vehicle commander seat. On my order. Victor one, Victor two. Prepare to move out. Pop smoke down, down. Going where? Are we moving back? Yep. Are we moving back? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, reverse, reverse, reverse. Reloading. 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 Victor, two is in cover. Oh, pussies. They went fucking. They turned around. Still, still got eyes on target, lad. Yep. Yeah. I really like that smoke. That's really good. Yeah. Maybe. I have no idea yet. Contact left! Delivered. Get Contact surprising left. fire. Lucky Get that gun up. Back. Jim P1's up. Alright. Oh, second contact. Second contact. Reloading! Covering! I think... Firing! Do we have any jamlets left? Yeah, yeah, I'll go out and try for Take out that armor vehicle next to the bunker positions. It's a beam against us. Got it. Reload in. Fire in. Reloading. Cease fire, cease fire. I'm back in. Just in time, I guess. Pick up the gear. Gunners break down and uh, move it down south. Yeah. Just wondered whether when there's like two contacts there, whether the GMP yes. gunners should take one contact each. Yes, you use one GPMG to uh, one GB to suppress the other contact, Would and if needed, if Sorry, needed, you divert the second gun onto it. So it come, your fire orders will come from like your uh, leader. Yeah, so I was going to say yeah. You what, what area to treat? Yeah, stick but contact very, left. Yeah, that was very good done uh, with you suppressing the second target once it popped up. You're getting these tripod weapons up really quick.
and get them into action. It's, quite it's a little bit fiddly, but it, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't take too long. And I think maybe in a situation where there's contact this close... Uh, well, you guys can suppress until we get up. Yeah, exactly, and maybe not always, depending on the terrain, etc. I mean, range. The, the only we might not even need the tripod. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Liberts were standing on one knee firing that shit. Just bla blasting out to get that suppressing down. But I mean, like, if it was, uh, if we were actually patrolling along here, if we were going from A to B and we got bumped on the way, would you really want to set up the tripod weapons, or would you want to fucking hammer, some, hammer them and then break contact? Uh, it all depends if we have to cover uh, let's say, for instance, we're doing a patrol along a small wall uh, where we can see over and we have the opp uh, opportunity to, to set them up uh, because it's probably going to be a longer contact. Yes. But, but we can put the uh, bipod down on a, sh on a small wall rather than getting the tripod out like you did on that, I did on that vehicle back there. Yeah. That takes two seconds. It's because it does, it does aid stability and everything, but the downside to the coin is, like, it slows us down. We can't just get up and leg it if we want to. Um, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. But now... I mean, if, in this situation, if we were going from A to B and then we got bumped from here, I'd just want to fucking hammer them and then fade into the trees. Yeah. Uh, we can take one more uh, without the tripods. Uh... Going, uh, going back up this north. Is, this is why I was hoping to do that section thing with whoever invited us, because we could have practiced our contact drills a little bit as well, because that's, that's a little bit important. Just